What's up gamers? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all these special items that the entire Zelda collection amiibos give you in this game. Let's dive into it. Okay, so just a little information for you guys. You can actually start scanning amiibo immediately at the tutorial area in the Great Sky Island. Now, if you open up your settings, system settings by hitting plus button and scrolling to the right, you then are going to hit options and you're gonna turn on your amiibo because they're usually disabled. So you just wanna go ahead and enable them. Once you enable the amiibos, then you can start to scan them. When you press the L button, you're then going to just select the amiibo. And what you wanna do is just simply tap your amiibo and it'll drop down like that. If you're scanning an amiibo on a Joy-Con, just grab the right Joy-Con and press the amiibo on it like that. So something really cool about when you scan all your amiibos to get stuff for the day. So for example, I'm grabbing this Wolf Link, I'm placing it on here and I'm getting a bunch of meat because Wolf Link actually gives you a lot of meat. And then you try to scan it again you get the notification that this amiibo can't be used again today. They actually mean that, and this game has a no punishment rule for doing what I'm about to do. So save your game and then completely close it. Once you close your game out fully, then go to your settings, go all the way down to system. And as you can see, I'm playing a legit Switch. Go all the way down to date and time, move it up by one, go back to your game. Then once your game is booted up again, go ahead and select the amiibo button and all the food dropped. So there, I stock up on more meat again. And just imagine if you have a bunch of amiibo, how much you can keep farming all these amiibo nonstop. Okay, now let's go look at what they give you. The 30th anniversary 8-bit link will give you the of the hero set and also give you the sword of the hero. The sword of the hero does 17 damage. So something really odd about this amiibo is that I keep getting multiple drops from this specific amiibo. Something in the coding was a little off and I'm noticing, look how many tunics of the heroes I got. Let me know if you can find out if this also happens to you. Test it out for me and I'm, it, it might be an actual glitched amiibo. 8-Bit Link will also give you the pixel fabric. The 30th anniversary Ocarina of Time Link and the Smash Young Link both give you the of the time set. They pretty much act like the same amiibo and can give you Bigoron Sword as well. The Bigoron Sword does 36 attack. Both 30th Anniversary Ocarina of Time Link and the Smash Young Link will also give you the Lon Lon Ranch Fabric. The 30th Anniversary Majora's Mask Link will give you access to the Fierce Deity Set. It'll also be able to give you the Fierce Deity Sword. The benefit of this armor is that it gives you complete attack up. And when you wear all three pieces, you have pretty much attack up to the max. The sword also does 38 attack. Majora's Mask Link will give you the Majora's Mask Fabric. The 30th Anniversary Skyward Sword Link will give you of the sky set, as well as giving you a sword, the White Sword of the Sky. This sword does 24 damage. Skyward Sword Link gives you the Sword Spirit Fabric. The Link's Awakening Link Amiibo will give you the Awakening Set, which is probably one of my favorite ones because of the big mascot head. Link's Awakening will give you the Egg Fabric. The 30th Anniversary Toon Zelda will be giving you the Sea Breeze Shield. This shield has a defense of 65. Toon Zelda will also give you the Bygone Royal Fabric. Sheik from Super Smash Bros. will be giving you Sheik's Mask. This will also be giving you Stealth Up, which will help you sneak up on your enemies in the game. The Sheik Amiibo will also give you the Sheik Fabric. Now here are all what the Champion Set gives you in the game. Mifa gives you the Valruda Divine Helm. This helmet also gives you Swim Speed Up, so you can swim a bit faster in the water. Mifa will give you the Zora Champion Fabric. Scanning in the Champion Daruk will give you the Va Rudania Divine Helm, which also gives you Flame Guard. This is going to be very useful when you're going inside of Death Mountain or going into any caves around that area. Daruk will give you the Goron Champion Fabric. Rivali will give you the Va Meadow Divine Helm. This will be able to give you Cold Resistance if you pair it with your Archaic Trousers that you get in the beginning of the game. With this mask plus that, you have full cold resistance to climbing up anywhere in high altitudes or in the cold. Ravali will give you the Rito Champion Fabric. Urbosa gives you Vadnaboris Divine Helm. This will give you plus one shock resistance. Urbosa will give you the Gerudo Champion Fabric. 30th Anniversary Link and Smash Link both give you the Twilight Set. Now, if you do scan these below the surface, you'll probably get Epona to show up, which means you would have to be by a stable in order to put it away. That way you won't keep getting Epona every time you scan your amiibo. But if you do this in the Sky Island, which you can do at the beginning of the game, then you don't have to worry too much about getting Epona and can focus on just getting this armor. The 30th Anniversary Link, the Smash Bros Link, and the Wolf Link 
all give you the Mirror of Twilight Fabric, which is this thing right here. And this is one of my favorite ones because it does glow at nighttime as compared to the other ones. Both the 30th Anniversary Wind Waker Link and the Smash 2 Link will give you the Of the Wind set. They'll also give you the Sea Breeze Boomerang. The Sea Breeze Boomerang has an attack power of 16. Both Wind Waker Link and Toon Link will give you the King of the Red Lions fabric. If you scan your Smash Bros Ganondorf, that'll give you the Dusk Claymore, which looks so cool. Ganon's sword has an attack power of 32. Ganondorf gives you the Demon King fabric, and I was a little disappointed by this. It could have been a lot better. If you scan in Smash Bros Zelda, you'll be given the Dusk Bow. It glows on your back and looks really nice. It looks very, very nice. This has an attack power of 30. Zelda from Smash Bros. will give you the Princess of Twilight fabric as well. Something really cool about the amiibo weapons is that you can also fuse them together with each other. So you can create your own weapons. This is a Dust Claymore fused with the Dust Claymore, uh, giving me a total attack of 64. Um, if you fuse them, it is called the Dusk Claymore claymore <laughs> and uh it's a very very long weapon so just to kind of show you the fun shenanigans you could do with all this stuff there we go knock this one out they're all coming for me watch watch the length on this let's see oh my gosh it's yo it whacked all of them something cool that we could also try doing is fusing silver lino horns with these weapons and i think amiibo weapons actually fuse really nicely so here's what the deity sword looks like and i'm gonna fuse it on look at the sword completely changed. Look how sick that is. And now if we go to the attack, actually, we can keep it out here. Look at this. It is now called the Silver Lino Blade with the Fierce Deity Sword, hilt of the sword attached to it, dealing 93 attack damage. That is amazing. That is an insane weapon. Uh, definitely scan your amiibos and uh, fuse them. Let's see what we do when we grab the Bigoron Sword. What does that one look like? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like big swords with Lino weapons similarly fused to create this kind of style i think that's really awesome uh here is our skyward sword the white sword of the sky what does this look like there we go 79 damage so i just automatically fuse these weapons and they do massive massive damage and i'm pretty sure you guys should do that when you have all these extra swords especially the high powered ones it, it it's it's worth it archer link from breath of the wild will give you the tunic of memories fabric breath of the wild rider link gives you the hylian hood fabric Breath of the Wild Zelda will give you the Hyrule Princess fabric. The Skyward Sword Zelda and Lothling ami amiibo will give you the Goddess fabric. If you scan your Breath of the Wild Guardian, you'll be getting the Ancient Sheikah fabric. Bokoblin amiibo will be giving you the Bokoblin fabric. The Tears of the Kingdom Link amiibo will give you the Champion's Leather fabric. It actually matches the Champion's Leather exactly. Before we move on, comment down below and let me know which amiibo set or item you like the most. Also, hit that subscribe button. It's real quick. So in order to customize your paraglider, and you can even do this to dye your clothing, all you have to do is head over south from the Mount Lanaru Skyview Tower down to Hatino Village. When you're at Hatino Village, you're just going to simply jump off here like this. Right from the shrine, by the way. This shrine is the Zanmik Shrine, so it's a fast teleport. Definitely get it when you come down here. And when you arrive over here, you're going to approach this person here. And when you talk to him, He's going to go through a whole dialogue about reworking your paraglider, and you can select any of the paragliders in the game. Now that you know what all the amiibo give you, do you know about this? Click on this. You, seriously, it'll help you out in your game.